Right, welcome to Brick Right again. This is the second video in the Jumbo Manhole uh, edition. So what we've done, you need to watch the previous video to understand this one. So it is on the playlist. Um, so right, so we've got this video, uh, this um, this manhole now. We've cleaned it all off. What we're going to do? We're going to set up a time lapse, or we're going to try because it's really tight this area. It's going to set a time lapse up, time lapse up over there if I can get my words out, and um, we'll show you, and then we'll stop it you know periodically and explain exactly what we're going to do so we've exposed this now and then we got a we got the really hard job and all we're going to do it of lifting this off because we've done it went it's really really heavy phrase isn't it yep. and that lid is welded to the end to the frame because it's rusted together so i think we'll get it up put it on its side just give it a smack with a sledgehammer and hopefully that comes out of that if not we're in a whole world of pain because the three even the three of us to lift that and get it out to the skip which is a bit of a trek and through the house so wish us luck we'll set you up on time lapse so enjoy So that's where we are with it now. Brad's taking them off. We just took this thing out, and what we found was it's really, really bloody heavy. This, this, that, uh, that lid. We got it through here, and then when we got to this bit, we had it all planned out. We had to put it on its side because it wouldn't go through there. And then we come through here, so we had it all mapped out and all working together. And then up here. And then that's where Salwyn's parked over there. We're not allowed to come onto the green and then the skip then is next door. So it's only a little job, but it's it's a trek to get everything back and forth and in and through the house and that narrow little opening. And yeah, here we are. He's gone now, Frey, isn't he? Yep. So you've got to go down and clean out now and then we can crack on, yeah? Yep. Happy days. Frey's is the youngest. The youngest always goes down. And he's the thinnest. Been it, seen it, done. No, I'm the thinnest, Brad. You're the thickest. Yeah, thickest. You will have it. Probably, right? I am a bit thick. So he's down here now, cleaning that out. It's got to be cleaned out because you can't just leave all that crap in there because it'll just block further on down. So if you get it all cleaned out now. But top tip for you, we did one of these many, many years ago 
and uh, my father-in-law actually, he went down the manhole, which is a lot deeper than this one, and there was a blockage, silt at the bottom of the manhole, and um, didn't realise the silent gas of methane uh, exhumed him, and he felt light-headed and sick, didn't know why, and only when we managed to just about managed to get him out, it was panic stations, we realised, well, I think it's methane, if I'm wrong, somebody correct me, but if you're going to go down in these manholes, be careful, because you start to feel light-headed, or a bit sick, or a bit queasy, get out, because that gas is uh, it's not good. What's the matter? All right. As long as you, I can't see it, as long as you know it's clean, just be careful for Roland. You don't even know who Roland is. Roland oh, Brad. Rat. Roland Rat. Yeah, Roland rat, rat fans! Hey, rat fans! You look a bit like Kevin the Gerbil, Brad, actually. Well, you look, you look a lot like Roland the Rat. I, look a lot, I do look a lot like Roland yeah. Rat. Roland the Rat. Rat fans! Anyway, right, let's get on with it. So when you've cleaned him out, always, always wash him down with a hose. Make sure it's running free. Make sure you're, you're again, ticking them boxes, belts and braces, do it all properly. And this now is a completely different job to what we thought it was going to be. Because when you lift those manhole covers, sometimes it's, you know, you, you don't really expect to see something that big, but then you never really know what's there, do you? So there we are. We'll stick you on to uh, time lapse. You what we got there now, we've taken, so it's a recessed manhole cover. So we've taken the, the actual bit that sits inside the frame out so he's over there to one side you just see it to the top left of the screen and then so we've put that in you can see the quality of it it's really heavy lads isn't it mm -hmm. really heavy it's double sealed it's um it'll take five ton of weight but if me and you stand on it brad we'll have to stand on it one at a time won't we yeah we'll go through because otherwise with my chin and your gut we're, we're exceeding the weight aren't we mm -hmm. yeah anyway so you can see now that that has got plenty of bearings where it overlaps the actual frame by more the more we require so it it ticks all the boxes again I keep saying that phrase it's done so let's put you on uh, hyperspace and just let's get it in so let's, let's do it a big chamber such, such a big uh, cover lid what we're going to do is we, we bedded this on now um, we put our lid on we benched up all the insides we're going to leave that set now we're going to come back to it a little bit later on and tidy all that up nobody's ever going to see it but it's bedded in it's done so what we've done is to get a square coming off the pattern of the paving we put it out a square to what the actual chamber is but it's fine because this is so big now you've got a bearing over there of more than enough it's very tight here but it's not overlapping it and it's still bearing past it and bearing past it here it's got a five ton weight limit that ain't going anywhere the top tip for you whether you're doing the manual um, cover this size or the normal clark ones you get from travis what you'll find is if you bid your lid on which you tend to do first because you don't want to put it all on together because if anything goes in there you know, you've got to be able to clean it out and stuff. So we tend to put the, the the frame in first and then screw the actual lid inside that then. But what you'll find a lot of the time, is if you can really zoom in on this for me now, Frey, this outside lid here, right? Once you put your inside cover on, you might be about two or three mil higher than the outside of it. So when you're leveling off your patio and you t you're chasing all your levels through and you're transferring all your levels and you've got your lid right and everything's right and it's bang on especially if you're working with porcelain what you'll find is next day or the same day you start screwing stuff down and the seal 
is a bit thick and you can't get your lid to that level so it's a bit high so we've already checked this once this is screwed down it is actually flush so that's fine so top tip for you if you're ever doing that and we've done it we've put it in it's gone off it's set we've gone back to it the next day we've screwed down you're like oh bugger it's two or three mil high and then it's got to come off and you've got to do it again so you'd ought to be taking this apart again now tomorrow because we put a lot of work into getting that right so top tip for you we let that set we'll probably come back to it tomorrow but uh we'll crack on with it then right it's nearly i don't know what the time is it's about half past three quarters of four isn't it mm -hmm. so <clears throat> we let this set now all day because as low as it's sunny it's you know when it's when it's sunny generally in the winter you, you can't bore your sand and cement goes off quite quick but it's we're coming into the winter it's uh, it's november so this has taken the whole day to go off so what we've done obviously now the the lid is or the, the frame is in we've cleaned all that up we've benched all that smoothed it all off so if anybody ever opens that now there's no complaints there welsh water will be well happy with that so next job now which we're going to get on with is to put the lid back on top screw him down and then we can put all the slabs and cut it all in tomorrow brad can't we uh, no no i'm gonna death tomorrow you're not coming in tomorrow no i'll have to when i you have to, yeah. I'll have to, won't I? You'll have to. If you're off, I'm off. I'm not coming in on my own. <laughs> uh, oh, Fred's not going to be in, is he? I'm saying, I've done most of this on my bloody own anyway. Who's done most of that, Brad? Yeah, it looks like a job you'd do as well. I'm losing <laughs> here, didn't I? <laughs> Uh, Looks like a job I do. You bloody done it, you little git. Me and Fraser had a blast anyway, on our one. Tell you, Ollie, you'll end up down there. I'll fit in that one as well, look. No chance you're fitting in there. You might get your one. body in there, but that head's not going down in there, is it? <laughs> and it'll go straight through, Ed. <laughs> right, this shirt uh, waffling, and uh, we'll show him with the lid on now, is it? Mm hmm. Done. Alright, um, it was Brad Till yesterday on the patio. He laid all this down here and cut all this around. Um, and that was my goal today. I screwed this in last night, and it's set overnight. And, uh, yeah. Hyperspace? Hyperspace. Hyperspace.
Yeah. There we are. It's the last one in. So we got these two. Oh, I know we got some up there. But that's the last one for the manhole in anyway, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So I cocked the time lapse up. And, and I watched the videos back last night. And I got my left and right mixed up. So if you've spotted it, there we go. I am thick. Did say in the video I was thick. So just goes to prove it, Brad, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So we've done a vid we've done that now. That's all cut in. We got it obviously it's all dusty and it's a bit mucky. But we had to put a straight joint right the way through there just to get the angle and twist it. Because don't forget all this was a, there was a step all through here and we we are going on top of the existing levels. We we've managed to do it. And the manual's in, customer's well happy with it, it's safe, it ticks all the boxes with Welsh water as we keep saying, don't go on about that. But it's done. How did you find doing that, Fraser? Right. Bit stressful, wasn't it? Yeah. And that's his first manual he's ever done. Normally we're used to doing ones that side. So Brad did that one and Fraser did the big one. I mean I've never done the, put one of those in and I've never put uh, I've I've never cut into something like that before. So that was his first one, baptism of fire. And we had to twist and turn it and get it to look right, not so much on the level, just to get it to look right with all the twists and turns. So a bit frustrating phrase, wasn't it? There was a couple of cuts, we had to go back and cut twice. One of them I cut upside down, so that was my fault. But it's in, isn't it, mate? Mm -hmm. So how do you feel? Good. Yeah? Ready for me to take you out for your birthday for a curry tonight, aren't you? Yeah. Obviously he's paying, Brad. Aye. You, I you're not coming because you it. cost me a bloody fortune there, you would. I'd be like, how many pop do you want, Brad? Six. I don't do pop -a You don't do pop -doms? You can't go to an Indian and not do pop -a doms Don't do pop -a doms You haven't bloody lived, Brad. Barely do an Indian. Oh, he's just not playing ball now, is he? Just stick to your uh, bloody Greg's pasties, mate, is it? Dominoes wouldn't go miss. <laughs> Dominoes. Right. So there we are then. The Nightmare Man old cover is done. So I think the lesson of this one is... You know, do your homework, make sure that you can touch these manuals, make sure that you can work on them, phone the right people, because you don't want to break any, any rules and cause problems for yourselves or your clients. And, uh, you know, get it in, get it done right, so they're happy, clients happy, and that's safe now, which is the main thing. Obviously, it was a special order one. I'll try and leave a link below in the comments or whatever, in the description below. I don't know what to do with that, but I'll have a go. And now we're going to do is another nightmare. We've got a clad underneath that there's no gas in this area so we got a that's a, an oil tank for the fuel so we've got a clad underneath that so that's going to be fun so this is the end of this video now so what are you going to say brad like and subscribe and see you on the next one. there we go he says it all doesn't it see you on the next one cheers